So in some crazy unexpected breaking news, the FHA has just announced that they are making it easier, and not just a little easier, substantially easier for 40 million individuals in the US that have student loans to be able to buy a house. And they're not just doing something little. In 16 years in the mortgage industry, I have never seen FHA make a more substantial change to help individuals qualify for mortgages than this single move right here. This takes effect on August 16th. And what they did is, is they no longer are using their crazy, outrageous way that they forced lenders to qualify borrowers who had student homes, student loans by using 1% of the outstanding student loan balance as a monthly payment. Think about that. The way it is set up right now is if an individual has $70,000 in student loans, let's say as an individual, they went and they went to grad school and they're out of grad school and now they got a job, they're making good money, but they got $70,000 in student loans. And those student loans, let's say that they're in some type of program where they base their monthly payment on their actual income that they're earning and it even could be forgiven down the road. Well, FHA didn't care. They said, hey, you know what? You got $70,000 in outstanding balance. Boom, you got to factor in a $700 a month payment. Like, even though you're not making that payment, we got to put that in there and plan like you're making a $700 a month payment and that reduces the amount that you can buy on a home. And this is a very, very, very real world problem. FHA absolutely crushes individuals that have any type of decent amount of student loan from really qualifying for any type of substantial mortgage program. What did they do? They didn't just fix this. They completely redid it to make it one of the most aggressive qualifying strategies for individuals that have student homes. As you can see right here, FHA eases path to home ownership for borrowers with student loans for 40 million individuals. On Thursday, FHA announced going forward it would be calculating the monthly obligations for those individuals with income adjusted student loan payments based on only half a percent of the outstanding balance or lenders can actually use the monthly payment shown on credit as long as it's not zero dollars or if the student loans are going to be forgiven and can be documented you do not have to include a monthly payment so let's give a real world example for you guys because so many individuals that they go ahead and they do this on youtube they just read you a news article but they don't actually teach you so let's just say here what we're going to do is let's do a direct comparison we got sam and sam tried to buy a house last year and sam makes a total of $5,000 a month for his income. And so anybody that makes about $5,000 a month of income can basically qualify to have about $2,500 a month in debts. Now this means things, anything that's on his credit, his new mortgage payment, his car loans, his student loans, and all that. Now Sam, as we talked about earlier, has $70,000 in student loans, which is not uncommon. So right off the bat, $700 a month, based on the old program, was hit against the amount of total qualifying payments that Sam could have is eliminated, leaving him the ability that he can only qualify for an $1,800 a month mortgage payment, right? So Sam factored in and realized an $1,800 a month payment, man, that only got me a $300,000 house. That's not gonna get me anything I want in California. Well, what's changed as of now? So now, same exact scenario, Sam doesn't make any more money, Sam makes $5,000, say his income is the same right here 12 months later, Sam qualifies for approximately $2,500 a month in mortgage payment obligations, roughly. But Sam, he's in an income-based repayment plan, which is pretty much 75% of people in student loans. And the amount of monthly payment that he has to pay on that $70,000 in student loans is really only $100. But we were forced to use $700 under FHA's old way of thinking. So now, even though we only have to hit him with $100 a month, because that's all he's really paying, that gives Sam the ability that has $2,400 a month left to help qualify for a mortgage loan. Well, you're looking, okay, that's $600 a month, Brian. How much is that? Guess what? That's about $110,000 more in buying power. $110,000 more in buying power. So under this example, Sam qualified for, let's say, $300,000 last year. Well, Sam now, under this scenario, can qualify for approximately $410,000. That's $110,000 more of a house. This bought Sam a house where he didn't want to live. This bought Sam a house where he is super excited to be able to move in. So now, Sam, who went to college, got his education, did everything right, is now no longer going to be punished, and he can use the most common loan program for first-time home buyers, and that is the FHA loan. And now, 
He has a chance of achieving home ownership and really creating wealth for his family and his family's future. So that's what FHA did. If you have questions about it, drop me comments below or send me a message and we'll get right back to you with them.